Hello everybody and welcome to Assessment Examination. It is a analog horror game. I've never played an analog horror game before, but this seems interesting. So we are going to try it out today. The examination will now begin. Okay. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. Oh, no problem. All of us here at are very happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real-life scenario. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Of course. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay. So I just... Um... My friend, uh, my friend told me about this job, actually. Is that the right answer? Do you have any professional experience in this area? Uh, no, no, not particularly, but amateur experience, absolutely. Do you have any personal experience in this area? Yes. As I said, I am an amateur. Do you believe in God? Will that get me the job if I do? Uh, well, uh, sure. Do you fear death? No. Death is certain. There's no point in fearing what is certain. Inescapable, if you will. Do you fear God? Yes? This is unsettling. Do you have people that you love in your life? Yes. I'm not a monster. Do you fear losing them? Of course. What? In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Okay. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Okay. Ugh. They have trusting eyes, but their face, like their mouth, their nose, it makes me uncomfortable. Almost like they're hiding something. I'm gonna say that's a threat. Oh, that's just a sweet old woman. She would never hurt anybody. She's a little distorted, but... Trust her. <clears throat> that was a different sound. Oh. I wouldn't tell you a secret, but I don't think you would hurt me. So I feel like I would trust you. Oh, absolutely not. This man is evil. This man's killed people. No, he's a threat. Oh! Okay. Mad are you fall? Why are you tall? I just clicked it. I didn't... Uh, no. Those eyes tell a story of chagrin. And triflingness? No, no, not at all. Uh, those eyes. They're threatening. This guy seems alright. I like him. I trust him. Uh, that's a threat. That's a... That's a threat right there. As a Pam, five milligram tablets take three by mouth nightly. You better reach your children. Okay. This guy seems all right. He's pretty wholesome looking. He's got a nice beard. He takes care of himself, so I'm gonna trust him. You 
look like you got issues, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to say that I don't trust you. I'm gonna say that you're a threat to me and my well-being. Is there right or wrong answers in this game? You look like you could go either way. You seem pretty trustworthy. I'm gonna trust you. You're you're trying too hard to be happy. I know you've done something shitty in your past, so I'm gonna not. Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2. Police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi. I'm at Dory Park at a gas station. Actually, in a corner of Dory Park. I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. He's just... He's outside and the door's locked, so I can't tell. He's asking for help, though, so... I don't know if you can hear him, but he's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, it's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But, and this is going to sound crazy to you, just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face. His face, you know, he had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't... I don't know what, something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid, like, real off. You're gonna let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's not dying, I don't think. He just didn't look right is all. Kid looked like he had just died himself. But he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit. But you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Okay. Officer? He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight, not because he drank one too many cheap beers. What was that? What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Is he still there? How does he look? Oh uh, yeah, he's... I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Okay, well, the ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No, you didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Is that what that is? Of course. Fuck. Fuck! Okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. Alright. Abrame mi santisma! Oh, oh, whoa, fuck that shit. No, sir. I'm gonna trust you. You just look a little off. Okay, you don't. You look like you're gonna kill me. Threat. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. Thank you. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on Mar 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 And while you're out here, why not come over to Dory Park? Oh. Admire the tall and beautiful trees all around, or watch as some of our little ones grow. Bring the kids along. They'll have a fantastic time in our new play area. There is truly no better place to make beautiful memories. Dory Park, one of the county's most lovely locations. Huh. The end. What is this? I can see his pain. I see it from my window. I see it every night. Okay. I can hear his steps. I hear them from my window. I hear them every night. Father of many, his tears taste of sacrifice. 
His steps carry guilt. Why haunt this one park? Why torment my dreams nightly? Does he fear nightmares? I can see his pain. I can see it from my window. I can see it's fake. I won't sleep tonight. I won't listen to the man's steps, or I'll be next. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. What do you mean? Congratulations. I thought I already did if it. If you are accepted into <laughs> you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows, and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Huh. That was creepy. I got like a weird chill right at the end there. And it, it's a different it's a different pace for sure from like typical like jump scare horror like like you you get uneasy in the sense that you're expecting something to happen based off your decisions but nothing crazy ever happens. I'm interested to see I'm going to end it right here. Uh If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Squeeze out.